So this morning, I'd like to begin with our take on a framework for the future of artificial intelligence. We have then created four dimensions for each of these levels, and we've evaluated you know, the different criteria and what makes each level. Environmental awareness, collaboration, user understanding, and autonomy. You see that each level is defined in terms of both how AI works and what that really means to us. JF, shall we begin with level one? Absolutely. So level one is called efficiency because that's essentially what it enables. So AI at this level allows us to better automate device operation and user interaction. Most of voice recognition based AI device today, you think of Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant, are level one because they're basically facilitating our interactions. Great. And some devices won't even need commands because they, uh, they can automatically adjust their operations with predefined input parameters. LG's ThinQ air conditioner, for example, uses smart detection sensor to know if there are people in the room so it can automatically adjust the temperature and the direction of the airflow. That's exactly it. Already at level one, we're able to create useful features and new capabilities. Hi, LG. What time is it? The time is now 8.30 a.m. Oh, we're out again. Can you order orange juice? Sure. What kind would you like to order? One bottle of 100% orange juice. No pulp, please. OK, ordering now. Thanks. Can you call a taxi in 10 minutes? The taxi will arrive in 10 minutes. Well, at level two, things get much more interesting. Here we're talking about pattern learning. AI-powered devices and services can now accumulate data and through their interaction with the env environment and the user, build and develop a memory. This memory enable AI to recognize patterns and use them to improve on future interactions. So from level two onward, AI really start to learn. And for your customers, probably the most important implication of this ability to learn from patterns is that AI can start to recognize you, distinguish you from another user. It can use your own individual threat, either your voice, behavior, preference, face, and then identify you and start to personalize your experience with the device or the service that you're consuming. Mm, I barely slept last night. Just five more minutes. Olivia, not again. Have a glass of orange juice. That usually gets you going in the morning. But there wasn't any left yesterday. I ordered more last night. Your favorite, 100% no pulp. Of course you did. Thanks. How much time do I have left? 45 minutes to get to the convention center. I'll call a taxi for 8.30. OK, I'll go take a shower. Put the news on in the bathroom? Sure, playing your favorite channel. So that's when things get really interesting. Uh, we get into uh, something beyond pattern learning. Um, and what we know is that correlation does not equal causation. And that's really the next step. So in the video that you just saw, uh, AI may know what you think, uh, what, what makes it difficult for you to wake up in the morning, but it doesn't know why. So from the steam of that idea, causal learning, which we believe will allow AI to develop reasoning to understand the why behind your action uh, in order to create then better outcomes for you. And all those, these devices will need to collaborate and share what they've learned, bringing together different bits of information to achieve an insight into cause and effect. Yeah, so from level three on, AI is much less about one individual device and what it can do by itself, but more about the collective intelligence of a system of interconnected device and solution, all working together for us. Sounds really fantastic. So my question is, when can we have this? <laughs> well, uh, we're just starting research on this topic. So uh, as much as progress always uh, make headways in some area, before it reach maturity, I'm afraid it's gonna take a few years. Oh, we need to get there faster, JF. Good morning. You sound great this morning. Did you sleep well? Yeah, it's been a long time. Thanks for the recommendation. My pleasure. Olivia, can I also recommend a light breakfast before your presentation? Oh, you're right. What should I have? I've prepared a light green salad. Lettuce is good for reducing stress. Thanks. That's just what I need. 
Olivia, you seem a bit nervous. No, I just... This presentation is really important to me. You'll be fine. What about dinner with Mark tonight? Oh, yes! It's a special day for us, too. But where should we go? What about the restaurant where you two first met? That's a super idea. Can you please make a reservation? Sure. Now relax and get some rest. Well, now we need to look at a longer-term future vision, um, so for level four. So the level four is based on what we're calling experimental learning. So experimental learning is the fact that we believe that AI can be able to design and improve continuously. AI will do this by formulating hypotheses around a specific goal, and then it's going to go out and test to learn new inferences. That process requires AI to draw from new data sources beyond the original training set, like it is the case for most models today. It's proactively seeking new information, integrating this knowledge into its operating parameters. I'd like to think of it as AI becoming like a scientist. Just like humans have become more intelligent by developing the scientific method, AI has the potential to become like a personal science lab that helps you constantly research and experiment with new ideas and knowledge. And that's why we are calling level four exploration. AI and the user working together like a team to constantly try out new ideas to figure out what works best for you. So optimization becomes a much more personal process and ongoing way of living supported and facilitated by AI. So from efficiency to personalization, to reasoning, and then on to exploration, these level of artificial intelligence experience are our attempt at mapping the future of AI and the relationship with human experience. A structured way of thinking and talking about how AI will change our lives, and this is only the beginning. Namaste. How is the new routine? So refreshing. I loved it. Great. Before you go, can we review edit suggestions for your speech? Sure. Let's hear it. Good to go? Yes, so much better. Thanks. Olivia, you still look a little tense. What about a quick call with IP for advice? That's a good idea. Connect me. Hey, Olivia, your rehearsals look great. So don't worry. Good luck. OK. Thank you. Bye. Bye. What about that new mindfulness technique we tried last week? Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Ooh, that's done. You were excellent. Now here's a dress selection for tonight's date with Mark. OK. Let me see. How about this one? It's a new color for you. Hmm. How do I look? I knew that would look good on you. This one's perfect for tonight. Thank you. Enjoy your evening with Mark. 